All right, hopefully the weather holds up because yeah. it was a little cloudy earlier today and you know they have like a partial roof but not a whole roof on that stadium, right Craig? No, yeah, and it's looking pretty good tonight. I think a good night for football out there summer-wise. It's going to be humid, of course. It's not excessively hot, and the rain chances are pretty low. Here's our Wind Jam Resort camera looking off to the east. Just a few uh, blow-ups in the clouds there, a few little showers, but lots of blue out there, and the breeze gentle, and the sea is pretty flat. Uh, 86 is the temperature in Miami, 85. Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 88 in Key West. Sticking the scale, of course, is up there, feeling uh, like it's about 95, and a gentle northeast breeze had about a quarter of an inch of rain coming in at MIA from the storms earlier, but they Things have quieted down now. In fact, if you look at the radar, big storms on the West Coast, big storms up in the Tampa Bay area, even some storms now moving through the middle keys and the lower keys. But for the upper keys, a few showers and the mainland looking pretty good. Just a few showers here or there. Feels like temperatures in the mid 90s right now to lower 90s, not excessively hot. And the satellite loop through the day today showing the clouds sliding onto the west. There's a break here over the Bahamas now in the precipitation. That's what's going to be with us tonight and part of tomorrow. But out here, that's the disturbance we're watching that is going to be sliding our way. And so our storm chances will start to go up later tomorrow, but be highest tomorrow night through Sunday morning. And then things go back down. In fact, here is the model representation of the disturbance moisture. And here it comes, reaching us by Friday, lasting on Saturday, and then finally beginning to pull away on Sunday. So I think in the beginning of the week, I said probably not a weekend washout. I think I'm leaning now towards a weekend washout especially Saturday into Saturday night. Maybe by Sunday we can get some improvement, but that tail-like looking thing right there is not a good sign in terms of heavy rainfall. It's a good possibility. So there's the disturbance out there. It is forecast across us and has development potential next week, but it's got to get across us first, and so it's going to be pretty stormy as it does. Also, we're watching Paulette and Renee out there, both Paulette and Renee forecast to move to the northwest. Folks in Bermuda watching this closely because it is forecast to intensify, Paulette, that is, as it reaches, uh, approaches the island there and then begins to turn off to the northeast. And besides Paulette and Renee, we're also watching the strong tropical wave that has now come off of Africa and development is expected this weekend. That'll be most likely our next tropical depression. And there's another wave right on the heels of that. Temperatures across the country right now remain cool over the western half, but pretty hot over the southeast. Our forecast for tonight, it's looking okay. Just a few showers, but mostly quiet. A low temperature in the upper 70s for tomorrow. Look for storms to increase late. We'll see some sun to start off. Downpours as possible by tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. High temperature near 88 degrees. On the water, winds northeast 10 to 15. Seas running 2 to 4 feet. A light chop on the bays taking us through the weekend. It's looking pretty stormy. It's later tomorrow through Sunday. Uh, not the best of weekends. Then things improve next week. Back to you.